is like a browser for your project source code. You navigate your code with DRD file manager. Speedbar. Speedbar shows the structure of the files. So you see the functions and so you can switch to them. Okay. Uh, you navigate your project using Z3 files. You can also see the structure of the files using I menu. You see the list of functions here. You can quickly narrow the context by typing the name. You navigate your project using Helm. And so, for example, you can select all the models and only payment models and then switch to this and then use Helm to navigate to your function. It supports CTX, it supports many other things like. Uh, documentation, online documentation, and uh, like you can, you can get documentation for functions, from Django, for example, models. You can see this documentation, and so it shows up in the browser. But the browser was open on, on the different windows, so let's show it here. For example, we want to look at the documentation of HTTP response redirect and just do it and it's open it okay so it makes it easy to navigate and in this uh, talk I would like to emphasize Emacs, Emacs uh, version control tools okay so what it does provide it makes it easy to commit so you make several changes, some comments here. And now you want to see the status. So let's show it a little slowly because tools, I did this and I did this. So now I see the status. Also from the menu, you can see the diff, for example, the diff what has been changed and you can commit, just press and see. I will not commit. Oh, okay. I will commit and then roll back. Let's commit it. Okay. And now you can see the history. So you see, it's my commit. It has been changed at its draft and so on. And we can roll back. Okay. And we, we again see this uh, file. And now we can uh, revert undo, undo all the changes. Uh, that's how you commit, how you revert. Uh, let's switch to some Git project uh, because uh, most of developers now are using Git. And let's see how it works. Uh, branch switch. Uh, okay, with Git you, you just have a very nice context menus everywhere. So you have this and you can see that here we have uh, branching, show refs. So let's show refs. And okay, for example, I would like to switch to release. Very easy. Now I have local branch release. I can see the history of this branch. I can do anything including rebase for example i want to rebase interactively to this religion i just press uh, rebase interactively pick squash commit it provides me the messages and i just do it okay so now i will see that my status is unpalette and unmeasured into that's and we can easily push the changes and override the remote branch if you want it um, more it's about how to annotate and see the your local file history for example we opened file and we can see the file history file history okay so let's use the menu of course i know all those shortcuts but 
you will not understand what I'm doing. So here is version control and now you can see um, show history and we see the history of this file. So several comments. For every comment we have this also log view short keys like div change set we can see what has been changed and when you press enter you go directly file to this line uh, okay uh, and even more interesting view is a blame a blame or annotate so you can use this tools uh, version control and it's here annotate and you will see annotated source code every uh, color is uh, uh, for changes made a specific re uh, revision so you can visually distinguish the changes are for the pitch release you press enter you can go there and you can also as well for annotate you can see you can set the span and you can uh, like see diff at this line you can see uh, other things like like log of revision this line and so on so uh, Emax, Emax provides you uh, browsing abilities for your source code version control very easy and quick switching between branches committing rebasing and other many things let's try it and see how it works thank you